You guys are trying to take your training to the next level and you want to increase your speed, your power, your conditioning, then you got to check out Phil Daru's eight-week heavy hitter boxing program. I'm telling you guys right now, and it's no joke. And if you want to advertise on my channel, contact me at dantesboxnation at gmail.com. You stupid fool. Did you really think you were hitting me? Huh? Bam, bam, bam. Over. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? So Devin Haney, he stops Zar Abdullayev in the fourth round. Now there's some good news and there's some bad news. The good news is Devin Haney, he looks sensational and somewhat of a step up in competition against an undefeated fighter that actually looked good against Hank Lundy. Not saying Hank Lundy is a world beater, but the fact that you can look at the comparison of how this guy did against Hank Lundy and how Devin Haney made it look like it was just a sparring session. Stopped him, his speed just completely discouraged and derailed everything that Abdullayev planned on doing. Abdullayev is a fighter who usually throws a lot of punches, but he was afraid to throw punches in this fight because of the speed and the timing of Devin Haney. Now that was the good news. The bad news, at least for Devin Haney, is after that performance, it may be a long time before Devin gets Lomachenko in the ring. That fight, that was a title eliminator bout. That makes uh, Devin Haney the mandatory, the WBC mandatory for Lomachenko's belt. And not too many people expect Lomachenko to rush into a Devin Haney fight. Despite the fact that we know that Lomachenko has been aggressively calling out Javante Tank Davis. But I tell you, styles make fights. See, Devin Haney, he has a style that's more similar to a Terrence Crawford than a Javante Tank Davis. The reason why it's important to mention that is because we know Lomachenko was never interested in ever facing a Terrence Crawford because of his style and his size. In fact, at one point, probably about a year ago, when people, when some reporters wanted Lomachenko to say that he was the best fighter in the world, they would ask Loma, who you think is the best? Loma would say, Terrence Crawford is pound for pound the best fighter in the world. So now you have the dream, Devin Haney, 20 years old, and he's already calling out pound for pound top three, one of the best fighters in the world. And Lomachenko has not even responded to this man yet for good reason. That was a very impressive performance by Devin Haney. Once again, considering the fact that this was a step up in competition, Devin is only 20 years old, he made it look so easy. There's no doubt about it, Devin has an extremely bright future. I see him as easily cracking the top 10 pound for pound list, probably within the next year or so. Depending on which direction he goes, I don't know if he's gonna keep moving up and wait, if he's gonna stay at 135 for quite some time, we'll see. But congratulations to Devin Haney. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I'm going to talk a little bit more about Lomachenko versus Devin Haney and some other future plans with Devin Haney in some more videos. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Rotation of the shoulder, then back in. 